Hi, my name is Delaney Lewis, and for my project, I'll be talking about DNA profiling in STEM, specifically the YSTR method. And the case I'll be discussing is the Alejandro Avila murder case, because STEM plays a large part in forensics, which I'm very um, interested in. So, for the case background information, on July 15, 2002, Alejandro Avila kidnapped, raped, and strangled five-year-old Samantha Runyon to death in Orange County, California. Uh, Samantha had been playing a board game in her front yard with her friend Sarah on when Avila drove up to the girls and asked if they had seen his chihuahua, and then he grabbed Samantha when she came up to the car and drove off. The next day, her body was discovered posed on the side of a mountainside in Riverside County and police had received tips to investigate Avila due to his past accounts of molesting his ex-girlfriend's daughter and her cousin in 2001. Very unfortunate case. So here's a picture of Avila and um, his victim. And the DNA fingerprint. So the DNA found on Samantha's body was an exact match to Avila, and Avila's car also contained Samantha's DNA. And for the first time ever in California, a YSTR polymorphic sequence was used to identify DNA in a case. And it was one of the first cases to use YSTR markers and allow the Y autosomal matches to be computed using the product rule. And essentially, YSTR relies on genetic material found only in the chromosomes of men. So this method was found to be very helpful in the case. And if you look to the right, you can see how YSTR works. I'll explain that in a bit. So STR means short tandem repeats, and these repeats are made up of nucleotide sequences. And different alleles contain different numbers of repeats in the human body. And in YSTR, the Y chromosome is inherited in a block without recombination. And as mentioned before, STR and the Y chromosome are inherited paternally as a haplotype, and Y haplotypes are used for exclusion and paternal lineage analysis. So this was very helpful in the case. As you can see, they analyzed the repeats in the DNA. And for the case outcome, Avila was formally charged for Samantha's death July 23, 2002, and he was later given the death penalty May 16, 2005. And the DNA fingerprint was extremely helpful in solving Samantha's murder as it helped investigators to confirm that Avila was, in fact, Samantha's perpetrator. So this was groundbreaking for the scientific community, as YSTR had never been used in California, and now it's used all the time in crime cases. And these are my sources. Thank you.